Even if you're not old enough to have seen them perform at the Sarajevo Games in 1984, everyone knows who Torval and Dean are. And just as a reminder, here is some of that near-perfect performance from 40 years ago. Look at this. The ice dancing legends changed the sport forever after that routine and are officially considered icons on and off the ice. Now, after decades in the rink, the pair is calling it a day, but not before one last dance. Wow, Torval and Dean joined us live in the studio. It is so nice to see you guys. Good morning, morning. morning. 30 years since your last trip to Australia. Have we changed much in that time? I don't think so. It's just got it's more beautiful, more, I think. Yeah, there's oh. more, more yeah, things no, to see. And we had the chance to go out on the ferry on the weekend and it was just a glorious day and it just brought, brought back so many wonderful memories because this is where we started our professional career here in um, Sydney. Mm. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Well, we just finished the Olympics and um, Australia booked the Russian Olympic team to come down and skate thinking that they'd win everything. But this pommy couple won. So they said, we've got to get them down with them. So there we, we came you down. Came down. Came down for like 12 shows and did over 100. I love, I love that we have, hold that place in your heart. Absolutely. Yeah. It's hard to know what to call you guys because Torval and Dean, of course, your surnames, Jane and Christopher, we, we don't know because Ky Meatloaf was on this show and Kylie called him Loaf. We, do, right. we don't know. <laughs> Would you rather be called Jane and Christopher? Because yeah. when people meet you and you go, Jane, are they thrown for a second? Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, we prefer to be called Dane and Chris. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's more familiar, but Torval and Dean is sort of the brand name. Oh, right. Right. T and D, is, if you want to shorten it. Oh, yeah. that's what all the kids are saying. Right. T and D. <laughs> um, we, we showed the Bolero performance, the, the outfit where you were in that beautiful uh, purple outfit. You recreated it again in 94. Is this a routine that you can do with your eyes closed now? You certainly have to keep practising it. Yes. It, you know, yeah. it, just for the fitness and the ability. Um, we, we go to the gym regularly. As you get older, it gets harder to stay as fit. Of so um, it's constantly working on the ice and practising off the ice. We've just recently invested in some ice baths to uh, help uh, the recovery. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you just can't get enough ice. No. <laughs> so what's an ice bath? But bath. Ice oh, bath. Oh, bath. Oh, yes. oh. a nice bath. <laughs> so well, that's the Northern English. It's, it's, there you go. I'm out. sorry. That's a, a new ice cream. That, so you're, sort of, you're, you're veterans now. We say that respectfully, of course. Uh, Kylie tried to imitate uh, one of the routines yesterday by getting down on the floor and couldn't get back up off the floor. Have you had to change a few of the routines as age and wisdom comes around? Yeah, definitely. Um, we want to create them, recreate them as close to the originals. And there's certain iconic moments in, in several of our competitive routines that people would recognise. So we were obviously trying to keep those in, but there are other parts that we think, mm, no. Age appropriate. <laughs> Age appropriate. Age appropriate. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. But so what we're doing is we're expanding the routines because they all had themes, like we did a, a Mac and Mabel routine, which was silent movie era. Yes. So we're expanding that theme with our other professional skaters, and we're doing a whole section on silent movie, of which Mac and Mabel will be part of that. And the mm. same with one of our other routines, Barnum, which was all about the circus. Mm. So um, we're, we're excited um, and looking forward we're to... We're in that creative mode yeah, at the in, moment, yeah. putting the show together. Amazing. So Have what will fun. people see when they come... So you're coming back to Australia in June mm -hmm. and you're going to... One last dance. So it's the two of you, but then also you're bringing in some other skaters yeah, as well. Some... So it's the best of your stuff and, and I guess a showcase of what's new too. Absolutely. And we're bringing some really talented, um, world-class performers as well that will be a part of it. So you're going to see a lot of dynamic skating, but you're also going to... A trip down memory lane from our point of view. And we, you know, we've crossed over from the 70s to the 80s to now and so we'd like to people to transition with us as well as we're doing it yeah. are the kids doing things today that you wouldn't have thought of all those years ago oh yeah yeah <laughs> definitely yeah, yeah. Like, the, the sport or you know any sport progresses um, and by nature you're pushing the envelope all the time so um, but I think from our point of view um, our it, it was athletic, but it was the emotional side. We brought an emotion to our uh, skating sure, that yeah. I think sometimes gets lost. I was trying to remember, but I, I remember Bolero so clearly, and I'm just trying to remember why was it that it captivated the world? Was it because you guys did something different that had never been done before? Was it the music? Yeah. Was it the tour? Was it the. Can, do, what it was, do you think it was? I, I think, well, first of all, it was the music. It's a familiar piece of music that hasn't been seen on the ice before. But it starts very small and intimate 
in the way that we started on our knees. And that hadn't and then really it, been done before. No, yeah. and it built and it crescendoed to a final climax where we ended sprawled out on the ice. And so we had a narrative in our head what it was all about. It was a love story, tragic love story, where the two of them end together in death. A bit um, Romeo and Juliet. A bit. Yes. <laughs> it was so memorable. So beautiful. Um, um, thank you for coming in to see us today. Thank you. We'd like thank to invite you. you out to lunch because the local pub's doing a special on ice bats today. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You pulled for the price of three. Yeah. That's Brilliant. Uh, lovely to Let's see you. It. Enjoy your time in us. <laughs> thank what, you. What we're going to do, we're going to put all the ticket details for Torval and Jean's Last Dance over on themorningshow.com.au. Are tickets on sale yet? Yes. Yes, yes they are on sale. So they're coming back again midway through next year to Australia. It's so lovely to see you. Lovely Thank to you. see you guys. Thank you.